Doug Jones is running against Roy Moore, and he is hit him pretty hard with an ad here, which I am 1,000% in favor of. I'm afraid that Roy Moore is gonna win this seat. Uh, I'll tell you why in a second. Roy Moore, of course, is a monstrous uh, Republican candidate. Look, even before we found out that he was a child molester, um, we already knew that he doesn't believe in the US Constitution. Uh, over and over again, when given an opportunity to defend the Constitution when he was on the Alabama Supreme Court, said, no, no, no. My particular religious views um, are more important in the Constitution. I don't care. I, I'm not going to abide by the US laws. Um, that's very Taliban of him. Um, so if he happens to be an evangelical Christian, if he was a Muslim, he'd be like, Sharia law is way more important than the Constitution. It's the same exact philosophy. He already said that he, does, he doesn't think that Muslims should be allowed into Congress. The, the guy believes there should be a religious test for office. <laughs> it says in the Constitution there shall be no religious test for office. Roy, Roy Moore doesn't believe in America, let alone the fact that he's a child molester. So Doug Jones can't hit him hard enough. So, and, and again, I'll get back to why I think Moore is in actually good shape, unfortunately, in this race. But ads like this maybe begin to turn it around, so let's watch. On Roy Moore's disturbing actions, Ivanka Trump says there's a special place in hell for people who prey on children. And I have no reason to doubt the victim's accounts. Jeff Sessions says, I have no reason to doubt these young women. And Richard Shelby says he will absolutely not vote for Roy Moore. Conservative voices, putting children and women over party, doing what's right. Those were the pictures of the girls when he accosted them. To be fair, Roy Moore says that he asked the permission of some of the 16 year olds parents and then took them out on dates and made out with them when he was in his mid 30s. On the 14 year old, he didn't ask permission. He tricked the mom saying that, hey, it's okay, I'm a district attorney. I don't want your daughter to have to sit through these painful custody hearings. Don't worry, trust me, I'll take care of her. Now the Republicans wanna cry about an ad where you show the reality of what he did and what other Republicans are saying about him? Oh, Go ahead, cry all day long. Doug Jones should run that ad over and over again and, and more. Did you see the pictures of those girls at the age when he went after them? And so many of his defenders in Alabama and other conservative radio and television, they say, oh, they look like 20 year olds. Some of those girls did not look anywhere near 20. They looked like young little girls. He was banned from a mall because he was the local pervert that would keep hitting on young girls when he was in his 30s. You can't hit him hard enough. Now, why might he win? <laughs> because elections, unfortunately, are about who, and maybe fortunately, about who's more excited and who cares more enough to show up. Who cares more than the other side, right? So that's a good thing overall. But in the case of Republican voters in Alabama, I get the sense that they are animated to go out there and defend their guy. They don't give a care what he did. Democrats care. You know, you got Democrats accused of wrongdoing, and Democrats are deeply disturbed by it. A lot of the Republican voters think the exact opposite. Not only are they not disturbed, oh, it's the mainstream media that are that's against them, it's the elites that are against them, it's the liberals that are against them. I'm gonna go vote, I'm gonna go vote for the child molester. By the way, I'm not doing that, and I'm not putting it on you. We're gonna find out. The election is in December 12th, we're gonna find out how many Alabama Republicans don't care or are happy about a guy who molested those young girls. But my guess is a lot of them, enough to win. So, so if Doug Jones sits on his laurels and thinks, "Oh, it's okay, a bad tape came out or revelations came out about a loathsome Republican, how'd that turn out for Hillary Clinton? No, from this day to that day, you must attack, attack, attack. So this ad should be the beginning, not the end. And they should pound Roy Moore into oblivion, which is where he deserves to be. Otherwise, unfortunately, he will win. So if you are a progressive, a Democrat, a moderate, sane, decent in Alabama, you too should get excited and you need to vote. If you don't, the other guys will win. TYT membership gets you commercial free Young Turks, download it, stream it, podcast it. 
Get all the network shows and support independent media. TYTnetwork.com slash join.